Hey everyone, we took a trip to Greece recently and we loved it and I want to tell you about an island that we explored. So here we're looking and we're zooming in on the island of Naxos which is in the Cyclades island chain. It's one of the bigger islands in that particular chain and we really enjoyed our time and we were exploring. We came across what we're looking at from the overhead right here and it was really cool, a little unexpected. As you can see it's sort of at the end of a road on our last day, we checked out of our Airbnb and we just went exploring. Our Airbnb is farther up north. Uh, it's this little blue pin on the west side of the island you can see real quick right there. So we checked out and we just started driving on this coastal road going to the south. We got to the end of the road. There's a dirt parking lot. We saw a few cars in the parking lot. So we thought maybe there was something there, some runes. And this is what we saw. We came in we weren't really sure what it was yet but as you can see there's a few other cars so we figured it was something worth seeing and we walked ahead and there's this little bit of hill that we went up starting to look a little bit abandoned we could tell this is not really modern but maybe there's some older structures back behind uh, but there's a lot of cement here uh, looks almost like a construction site and actually, it turns out that's what it was. So what we ended up finding was a hotel that had started construction and then fallen on hard times financially, and they just sort of abandoned it. And it's become this really focal point for graffiti artists. It's got some really good artists that have stopped by here. It's also got a bunch of kids that you know just put their name on the runes, but... Let's take a walk through here. Uh, this boat was one of the first things we saw. It was really cool. This is right on the coast. There were beautiful views. And all of this main level, there was a basement down below. It looked like a bunch of trash we could see back there. Uh, we didn't go exploring too much downstairs in the basement of this. It didn't look like there was really very much to see. Um, there you can see some of the you know, just graffiti tags, but you can also see some of the cooler art here. This particular image with the bird and the lady's hair is in a couple of spots. I think it's an artist that's based out of Athens from what we did a little bit of research on. Underneath her head in Greek is the word Naxos. Uh, that's the Greek way of writing the name of the island we're on. And so we're gonna show you just some of the highlights that we saw. The first highlight here, is around this doorway and the way this artist created the woman's face with the doorway uh, they've done a few pieces here but we really liked this one so let's keep exploring and see what we can find all right back outside here's a view of the beautiful scenery this was a, a nice piece i don't know what that said could not read it um, but you can tell nature's sort of retaking it a little bit oh there's a nice drawing very tasteful and yeah you have to watch your step a little bit as you're walking around but in general it it didn't really feel like things were on the verge of tumbling down on top of you although you can see a few areas here where definitely that's happened this room here was one of the rooms that looked like it was finished you can see a bathtub there uh, there was some tile on the floor this was the only room that we could see that had any sort of finishings in it so what i think happened was this was maybe uh, a mock-up of what it was going to be and at some point before they could start to finish the other rooms is when they ran out of money. Uh, it was interesting to see what it might turn into. It looked like very nice tile. I think this was definitely going to be a luxury hotel. And you can tell by looking at the views that it probably would have been successful. It was huge, probably way too many rooms. But this would have been a really popular destination. Just look at those views. But you can see how large the structure is. Uh, probably well over 100 rooms. Uh, it would have been real tough to probably fill that up, and maybe that's why they quit building it and gave up. But uh, we could go upstairs. Uh, so I went and explored. Uh, you can tell the state of things. It's not great, but it still seemed pretty solid. And so going upstairs, you could get some really good views from the little peninsula we were on, see some of the other islands, and you could get a good view of the site as a whole. Uh, really beautiful perfect weather while we we're out here as well i said it was a little bit windy naxos is really known for its windsurfing but has a lot of great beaches as well uh, a lot of nude beaches too a little 
beach over here to the right. Uh, a couple of people enjoying the sun. Uh, some of them with bathing suits and some without. But you could tell just what a great scenic location this is. Yeah, there's the sunbathers. All right, so let's head back downstairs. See what we can find down there. Yeah, you got to be careful where you step. Some of these, you could definitely fall. There's no guard rails or ropes, which is one of the things that we liked about exploring Greece. You still had to use common sense as you were exploring areas. Let's go downstairs and see if we can find any more of those more artistic graffiti pieces instead of just all these tags and uh, trash graffiti. This little bowl you saw on the right there, we saw that in several places throughout in little different positions. Uh, it looked like maybe some people had mattresses set up, some homeless might have been sleeping here, but we didn't run into any. Uh, if this were in the U.S., I have to think, especially near a major city, there'd be homeless people all over. We didn't see, like, drug paraphernalia, a few alcohol bottles, uh, but overall, it was better than we had expected in terms of feeling sketchy. All right, so there were, I think, three main buildings. Uh, this is another one. Let's poke inside and see what's through here. This here looks like a, a shrine. Uh, you can see the mattress there, some candles burning. Don't really know what happened. Assume that somebody died there. So they made a mural and left a little shrine for whoever passed away. And here in the corner, you'll see it very quickly in the video, but I'll put a still photo up, a really nicely done eye. This is that eye. You can see a ton of detail. They even created a reflection in the eye itself. Uh, here's another view. Really impressed by this. Uh, very nicely done. All right, continuing on, here's that shrine. Three little birds. Who knows what that means? Uh, let's keep walking. All right, so this was the one sketchy area. It had a lot less light. I, I don't know if this was going to be maybe a laundry facility or offices or something, but it, it wasn't hotel rooms. Didn't have as many windows, and the camera is doing a really good job of picking up any light that's available, but I'll tell you, when I was in there, it seemed very dark. I could barely see these. Uh, I'm really impressed with how well the camera picked up these different images. And there's a little, I don't know, maybe a bed or something some rubble in the corner there. We didn't see any homeless people, but there were definitely signs that there were some around in here. Uh, and then walking really through the wall out into the sunlight, it was a huge adjustment for my eyes. But you come out here and just look at this beautiful view again. Nice uh, lady with a pearl necklace on the wall over there. And can we go down the stairs? No, they forgot to put the stairs in. That was the second floor down there. Didn't go explore that too much, but you can see there's a big hole in uh, in the floor of the main level. So you can see what's down there. It really was not much graffiti down there. Didn't seem like it was worth going around and exploring. Just some rubble, a lot of trash. All right, let's keep exploring that blue cat animal. Sort of neat. Let's see what else we can find. A lot of dicks. People like drawing dicks. They're funny. <laughs> dicks. All right, let's go outside. Eh, you can tell people knew about this, or at least they maybe discovered it the same way we did. But there were definitely people around. And Hey, look at that lady. There's Megan with her boot. She was really uh, walking around... I'm sure she was hurting, but she was doing a good job of walking around with the boot, keeping it on. And she had told us to come up a little bit farther up the hill, that there was some higher quality art. So this is what we found up there. Really like that little elf thing on the left. Found this mural. Seal the river at its mouth. Take the water prisoner. Fill the sky with screams and cries. Bathe in fiery answers, it says. 
And, you know, these women, they sort of remind me of Alex Gray's artwork. Anybody who's a Tool fan probably knows Alex Gray, or you may have just run into his art somewhere else along the lines. But looks pretty cool. I didn't get video of all of the really cool things. So here are some photos that I took of some pieces that I didn't get great video of. Uh, there was a lot of really good art that you could tell somebody was actually taking time and trying to make a message or just create something beautiful. Uh, it was a little hard to focus on that sometimes because there'd be pictures of you know dicks and <laughs> uh, just graffiti tags. But if you look a little bit deeper, there are some really nice pieces throughout this. Here's, uh, oh yeah, these, I guess they're Puffin? Huge piece. This might have been the biggest piece. Um, and then this eye was actually matching with the other eye that we saw with the reflection in it. They were facing each other on walls. All right, let's go back outside. This was a neat little piece here with these two statues. This also, I believe, was an Athens-based graffiti artist or street artist. And right next to it was probably my favorite piece. So... Let's go and take a look at the favorite piece from the whole thing. You can see this guy with his, his third eye, also very reminiscent of Alex Gray, and did it so that it's on two different walls. And as you walk past, it has this really cool effect of the image coming out towards you. Uh, somebody unfortunately put an X over his third eye, so it sort of takes away from it, but still very cool. Uh, very nicely done piece. Yeah, I think this was both Megan and my favorite piece that we saw. Uh, that eye that we saw earlier on, though, with the reflection was really well done. We liked that one, too. And then we've seen this a couple of times, this woman with the bird coming out of her hair. Uh, those pieces are pretty good. And, you know, uh, there wasn't too much else around there. So this is walking back to our car, about twice as many cars as when we got there. It was really nice to explore before it got crowded, and uh, if you're going to Naxos, highly recommend you check out this. It's a short drive from most places on the island. Uh, there's a little rental car, served us well. See you later.